Hey guys, so today I'm answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, I need to pick between Elm and TypeScript. How do I make my decision? So let's get into it. Well, I will uh, probably be able to answer this. So if you're going to pick between Elm and TypeScript, I'm assuming that the reason for you to actually make this decision, like this decision has to do that you've seen that there is a benefit to having a typing system when you do JavaScript development. And that's great because there is absolutely a, a big value to that. But you, I, you may or may not know this because I will, I just, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to assume that if you're if you want to pick between TypeScript and Elm, it is likely that you don't know that there's quite a big of diff there's qu a, quite a lot of difference between the two. Elm is a, basically a programming language in of itself, and it, it goes very very heavy on a very specific type of development. It's uh, it's going to pretty much force you, uh, like force you into a functional programming paradigm, if you will. TypeScript don't re doesn't necessarily infer that sort of sort of thing on you that you can still do you can do object-oriented programming in TypeScript if you wanted to but you can also to an extent do functional programming so that, that's just my guess that the thing that we're after here is the typing system I don't know but that's what the, the kind of the underlying question or underlying assumption here seems to be so if you're simply out for a typing system I would ask you to ask yourself this and the thing that you should ask yourself is do you like to work in Elm because if it's if the project that you are building is for personal choices and you want to try Elm out I think that you should absolutely do that if your intention is to build a project for professional reasons and well basically make a business out of it or if you're going to provide this code to some third party or like an external like person is going to take over or there's a lifespan to your application then you should go with TypeScript. The reason is that TypeScript is well at least right now and I don't see that changing anytime soon the most popular choice for type for types in JavaScript. It is a this is a ve it's a very 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 big deal in IT at this point and it's extremely well supported and Elm simply isn't. Elm is uh, in the job market almost non-existent and there's a risk to that. That doesn't make Elm bad it's simply that when you are building software for more people than yourself it's always valuable to consider what's going to be the stable choice and the thing that is most well known is usually the thing that's going to be the stable choice and in this scenario that's going to be TypeScript and that's uh, that's pretty much my my thinking on this because Although I can understand that somebody wants to use something that is less mainstream, I think that's a very bad practice if you're making something for professional reasons. It's simply, well, I'm not going to say unprofessional, but it's bordering on a negligent for when, you, when you're building like large-scale systems or you're building something that is going to be handed off to a third party. This is one of the reasons why a lot of consultancies and other companies opt into building building things in Java not necessarily because they can't use something else but because it's very likely that whoever is going to own that project going forward is going to be able to find people to sustain it and that's very hard to say if you build something in F sharp or Haskell or something of this nature and at the end of the day, you have, as I said, you have to kind of ask yourself why you're building it. Because if you're building it for professional reasons, going with the stable choice is the way to go in general. So what I want you to take away from this is that although Elm has a use case and it has a certain level of popularity, it's going to force you down into a situation where it's, un it's very unlikely that you will find people who are really, really good at it, just in general because the job uh, job market isn't really good for Elm at this point. It's also going to make you, like, give you the typing system, but it's also going to give you a requirement, or, well, more or less, on writing things in a functional way, which, depending on your viewpoint, is a good thing or it's a bad thing. TypeScript is, today, the 
most supported and most popular so choice for adding types to, to JavaScript. And it's supported by Microsoft. Uh, it's a big hit in the IT community and JavaScript land and so forth. It is. It has tons and tons and tons of definitions out there on the internet, so you can add types to almost anything. It's, uh, in my opinion, a very superior choice. That's just me, but uh, for professional reasons, for sure, it's the better, the better, better option to go with. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this was useful to you. Have a great day.